everybody. Today we're going to be making some fresh mango salsa. I've got a nice ripe mango here and I'm going to take my color coded utility knife. This is the pink one which is available in May only. A dollar of the proceeds go towards the Hope Look Cancer campaign. I've just cut off the bottom so that I make a flat base. I'm going to take my mango wedger out of the protective sleeve. I'm going to stand the mango up. Put this on the center and just press down and you can see we've got beautiful pieces of mango wedged up and ready to go now for our salsa. So I'm just going to put these on the side. Actually, let me go ahead and scoop out the inside of these. I'm just using our scoop and spread. This is a great new tool from our spring line and it's great for peanut butter and jelly lovers. It's also good for avocados. And as you can see, it does a pretty effective job at getting the peel off of fresh mangoes as well. So I'm just going to stick our wedges in there. Take this side off as well. The bowl. Right along the side here. And you always want to feel a mango when you're out in the store and you're looking for a fresh one. The color actually is not a good indicator of the freshness of the mango. You just want to feel it should have a little bit of give when you um, press on it. So we've got our mango in our two cup prep bowl ready to go. We're going to set it off to the side and bring in our manual food processor. Love this thing. Now to our manual food processor, we're going to add a little bit of fresh cilantro. I've got this here in our one cup prep bowl. And we're also going to add some jalapeno. So I'm just going to cut the tip off the jalapeno, slice it in half. And if you like hot salsa, then you want to leave the seeds in. If you don't like hot salsa, you can take the core and more here and just scoop those seeds right out. The seeds are actually the hottest part of the jalapeno. That's where your heat comes from. I'm going to slice it in a smaller piece. Take them out of this side as well. Slice it in a smaller piece. Put these in here. You can see, just finally dicing them up. Got a good start on those. Give them a couple more. Pieces. Okay. So there we have it. We've got our nice diced cilantro and jalapeno pepper. We're going to add to that a little bit of red onion. I like a little bit, but I don't want to overpower it. You may let me like more in yours. So I'm going to add that in. See how quickly that got pulverized up to nothing. Ready to go. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we're going to add in our fresh mango. I'm just going to cut these in a little bit smaller pieces. Just cut it in half. All right. go a little bit finer with it and see this is what we've got right now looks beautiful we're going to add to this just a little bit of fresh lime juice so I've got our lime Put this aside. Now I'm going to use our citrus press now to do this we place the lime upside down like this and this is half of a lime and we just squeeze. And you can see we're going to get a lot of juice from just half of this lime. That's why I love this citrus press. It does a great job. It basically flips the lime inside out of its shell. So we've got some fresh juice. I'm just going to add some of that, not all of it. 
give it a quick stir. And there we have it, a delicious low fat mango salsa. This is great for an after school snack. Um, it's great on top of chicken or fish or as a side dish on when you're grilling something or just to have. Hope you enjoy it. Have a great day.